here with much props gonna give you another how-to video today we are building something from Mad Max now most of the props that I do on my channel are kind of in that style already um, it kind of falls under that fallout that type of stuff where it is post-apocalyptic pieced together rusted out type stuff I really dig that type of finishing and wanted to build something from Mad Max because it's kind of an iconic movie uh, and I really kind of honed in on one specific character which would be from the newer Mad Max and that's Immortan Joe. He's got this pretty awesome looking um, face respirator type deal and I was stumbling through Amazon the other day found this. It is called a skull mask but very clearly the front of it looks like Immortan Joe's um, face respirator and I thought why not get this it was on sale I think for under ten dollars and I bought it and then I got a couple of hoses and stuff too so I'll link all those things that I purchased in my affiliates page so that you can if you want to make your own have an easier time of figuring it out also and then just add a little bit of foam to this because it's it's kind of like small on my face to bulk it up a bit so today we are going to make an Immortan Joe face respirator from Mad Max. Let's get to building. I got this skull mask on one of those flash Amazon sales for a couple of bucks and knew that I was also going to need some type of hose. I settled on some gas mask hoses that I eventually sprayed a light brown. I know it probably won't hold the paint, but the chipping off I thought probably could add to the style of post-apocalypse. The mask was a little small, so I decided to beef it up with some what the foam, just kind of sandwich the mask in between it. I used the program Sketchfab on my phone to get a 3D model of the mask. I need ridges to go all the way to my new edge, so I'm going to take some 2mm EVA and extend it from the teeth over the old jawline. For this, I just eyeballed how big it needed to be.
Now I'm going to use a stone bit on my Dremel and carve out some ridges to mimic the actual mask. I fill in some of the gaps with a little bit of hot glue also. To blend the top armor on the cheek line and the jaw, I go over the existing parts that are already there with some 2mm EVA. To pattern it out, I simply put some painter's tape on top of the mask and then drew out the shapes I wanted using my Sketchfab reference to wing it. To get a good fit of the parts and let them form to the mask, I heat the pieces up a little bit with my heat gun and then push them on top of the areas I'm going to glue it up. For faux rivets, I'm using faux jewels. I have them in various sizes and I know after I put paint on it, it'll look the part. I remove the clamps on one side of the gas mask hoses and use the mounting piece to figure out how big a hole I need to drill into the cheeks. I bought two hoses for the mask and then used an old vacuum hose to connect the two in the back. Hit the mask with two coats of Plasti Dip. I put down a base coat of brown and silver Plaid FX acrylic paint. This will act as a base coat to go off of. After two coats, it has a pretty solid uniform layer.
After the base coat dries, then I add some washes of dark brown and black acrylic over the top into the grooves and then wipe it off with a paper towel. Once that dries, I dry brush on some off-white for the teeth and hit some other spots with various colors. I don't know what happened, but I lost the footage for me making the little connector covers you see here. It's just a 36 millimeter EVA dowel hollowed out so that the tube fits into it, and then some small strips of two millimeter EVA glued on top for panel details. I feed them onto the hose, then I push the hose onto the brackets. Once it reaches the first ridge, it locks it into place. The last step is to add a one inch elastic strap to the back so it can be worn. Measure it off of your head where the mask will meet it. I sandwich the elastic band between the mask and a small piece of EVA to reinforce the connection. And we are finished. Here is the end result. Overall, not too bad. I realize that parts of it are pretty inaccurate and there could be a lot more details added like little weird hex screws on it and this hose isn't exactly accurate, but part of it's covered anyways with his little respirator hood thingy and I didn't want to try and build that thing. So we're just going to go with this. If you're a new beginner at building things or an old beginner at it and you find something that kind of resembles it at least a little bit, you can do modifications to it to bring it to what you want it to look like. And this is just a good example of using something that already has those details for you. So maybe you will try and make one of these Immortan masks yourself and impress your friends with your ability to lead a big giant group of morons through the desert area and... Tell them not to drink water. Yeah. Maybe you'll get some. Yay! And inevitably, they're going to ask you, how'd you make that? You can give them one of these. Tell them, much props. All right. I apologize for my horrible impersonation that's about to partake. Do not, my friends, become addicted to water. It will take hold of you, and you will resent its absence. That's, that's a horrible, horrible thing. You, you need water. It's good for you. Peace out!